Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by you. Your patrons are maniacs, and I, I love you. But we're going to be blasting something that's a little bit later than what I'm going over, but suffocation, effigy of the forgotten, the uh, rotten carnage bootleg, as that's the breeding the spawn lineup, come on. You all know Frank's famous Trump shirt, that's the lineup. And before Effigy, oh crap, my Dan Seagrave signed copy of Effigy fell, but that's a, one of my prized pieces, but in, uh, I think it was 2016, 2017, I got this bad boy, or well, it was 2017, at Decibel's first Metal and Beer Fest. And, uh, this promo photo, I don't know why, how they mixed that up, but, hey, these things happen, as I don't think we would have got a cassette reissue otherwise. But, Green Vinyl on Listenable Records, they always do a good job, in my opinion. Like, I have no complaints of my immolation, Dawn of Possession. Like, all my, uh, like, breeding of spawn. But, finally, finally, so fucking stoked to go over suffocation, human waste with you maniacs. Oh, shit. Alright, so this is limited to a thousand copies. If this is not sold out yet, it's going to be. This thing is gorgeous, and I'm going to show you my despised son also. But this is one of my favorite suffocation recordings, if not my favorite. Just look at that cover. I love the. I want to see the original painting. I want to see like how big it is and stuff. It's uh, painted by uh, Ron Spencer. And to me, this is the definitive suffo lineup. I mean, Frank Mullen, Doug Soretto. Terrence Hobbs, Mike Smith, and Josh Barron. Like, just sick fucking lineup. And look at that promo photo. If that's not death metal, I'll kiss your ass. I love how the trees are lurking. Sick fucking layout. Lyrics. Holy Book of God, Holy Book of Lies, and you get two tr bonus tracks from the Reincremation demo, which is actually on the B-side of this bootleg, which is kind of cool, actually. Um, yeah, you, which is Human Waste, Involuntary Slaughter, and Reincarnation. But this is the blueprint to effigy, human waste. If you've never heard this, I'm pretty sure it released in 1991. Yep, recorded in 1990. Again, this is limited to a thousand. It's gonna sell out soon. I'm surprised it's still available. It sounds great. Looks great. Yeah. And like it's cool too. Like, I thought it was like the same reason the same color as the Spice of Sun LP. Nah, I was, I was wrong. 
I appreciate whoever did their, you know, job at the, U- the USPS. Like, they, they figured out that address did not exist, jumped on it like sharks, and got this, like, all situated. This went to my guitar player's house, so luckily it was very easily retrieved. But somebody at the post office legit, like, must have, like, been like, this address is not scanning. And I don't know how it even made it out of the warehouse, to be honest with you. But this is limited to 900 copies, and I'll go over this in a minute. I know they changed the cover, which is, it is what it is. They didn't change the cover of human waste, and that's what we're fucking talking about. Infecting the crypts. Come on. That is worth the price alone. In my opinion. Synthetically revived, mass obliteration, catatonia, Jesus wept. Human waste, involuntary slaughter, and re All fucking bangers from the masters of New York brutal death metal. I'm sorry, but yeah. I know there's some gnarly bands out there, but 1990. I'm sure there were, you know... I'm trying to think what, what year Grotesque Infection was. I don't Ah, it's right here. Why not? I think it's 92. I, I'm like, we're positive it's 92. I just want to, I just want to see. Yep, 92. Fuck yeah, I was right. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, this is like some of the best suffocation songs, like, if you're a fan of their early material, it's a little bit, like, more savage, it's like, just gnarly. I fucking love this shit, like, I've been looking forward to this for a really, really, really long time. And, 1991-2005 pictures of me wearing like a human waist shirt when they did like the reissue in 2005 2013 and then in 2022 but I'm so glad they didn't change the cover art on human waste like why would you look at that I kind of understand why they changed the cover of Despise the Sun but like Again, though, when it comes to classic New York brutality, if you're a fan of early Pyrexia, like, come on. You you love this. If you don't, you're fucking full of shit. I'm sorry. Like, for real. Like, if you're a Pyrexia fan, but you're like, ah, suffocation's overrated. Like, have you ever, like, actually listened to this bad boy? So fucking sick never gets old like and it's just a good record but it's a lot like darker sounding and you know like kind of reminds me of Infester but not really at all that it doesn't sound like Infester it just reminds me of it but like it's not Satan it's some sort of like Wendigo like just awesome suffo monster and that's what Dan Seagrave called them, but this is not a Seagrave piece. But Seagrave told me, he said, you want me to throw you a little supper monster? I said, seriously? And he said, yeah, and there it is. So that's a supper monster. That's all I really know. And that's cool as shit, in my opinion. But essential. Like, again, infecting the crypts. Like, one of the best death metal songs ever. Right there. And then, like, the A-side ending with Catatonia. Fucking A. So sick. 
killer reissue. But again, limited to a thousand. I know that seems like a lot, but remember, suffocation is like, you know, pretty fucking big. But this is also a Patreon pick. So heavy fucking hail. Like awesome, awesome fucking hell yeah. I'm glad you folks know how important like, these records are. Despise the Sun is limited to 900 units. 1998, and since 2018, I've been trying to get a copy of this reissue. Finally, here it is. And as you've noticed, different cover art. Now, the only real bummer here, aside from not having the original cover art, is no promo photo, but I can't remember. I don't have my original copy anymore. I can't remember if this had a promo photo, so remind me if possible. But Funeral Inception, I mean, do I need to say any more? But this is really sick. Like, they did a real gnarly job on this. And these are not sold out yet. Like, I don't know, again, like, what's going on, but... 45 RPMs of pure New York fucking death metal. Like, Despise the Sun is, like, technical, brutal, and that's the same with, like, Human Waste, but, like, again, Human Waste was the blueprint for Effigy. So it's, like, a mix of technicality and brutality, but just in the perfect fucking combination. But the cover art, it is curious, but I do understand it, but at the same time, I would have rather had the original if I had to pick. Although, I do hate the Photoshop, like, I don't know, but, that, like, that's cool, but, like, I don't know. The tunes are what matters, so... Yeah, this is Butterfly with Splatter Edition, limited to 900 copies. So, I would jump on this ASAP. Funeral Inception, Devoid of Truth, Divide, uh, Despise the Sun, Blood Churn, and Catatonia again. Re-recorded and heavier than ever, honestly. Like, no joke. <laughs> That's probably, like, one of the heaviest suffocation songs on Despise the Sun. Like, trust me. But, to me, like, Breeding the Spawn's awesome. And, like, so is Pierce from Within. But, like, Despise the Sun, to me, was the end of an error when it, come, when it came to suffocation. But, let me go over the rest of the Patreon picks real quick. Ah, There's just two of them here. I think one's on the way. Like the last one. And then there's two more. But they're for next month. But somebody, it was a present. And thank you. But Faceless Burial at the foothills of the Huration. I'm not real sure. I've been trying to pronounce it. But more Dan Seagrave artwork. So more weird, some like weird geometry and just look at how awesome this cover is fuck yes and this is so good I, I really wish I would have got it on vinyl I have all their other records on wax like Peter did such a good job with the I think he did mixing and mastering 
yet. Using all analog techniques in Denver, Colorado. He does like all like blood incantation, spectral voice. Peter like doesn't fuck around. Peter rules, hails. And Dark Descent did an amazing fucking tape release with this. Sounds great. Matt always kills it. But we also have Departure Chandelier. The not 10 inch version. I'm sorry, I missed it and I did not have $125. So, Dripping Papal Blood. Oh, fuck. I think this was a secret demo from 2010. Performed and recorded autumn 2010 at the Prisoner's Chant. But this completes my vinyl Departure Chandelier collection. I'm fucking stoked. Avert in receiving this host and worshipping this servant. You, punctured doves, have unwillingly participated in the creation of anti-clerical government. Petrify prisoners into saints. Oh my god, a molested papal infability. Hail the spirit. Brutal. And this is on, this is really sick. One side is, you have side behead the Pope. The Polian hated the Pope. He like locked them up and shit. This says Satan on the etching. Trying to get it. Trying to remember how to hold it. I think I'm gonna fuck it up right now. But I'm gonna do my best. Here's the. Again, this is sick looking. It looks like there's a bunch of gold. They don't they look like skulls or like fucking ghouls. But here's the etching side. It says like Satan. I know it's hard. You can't really see it. It's there. Trust me. But fucking cool as shit. But this is great black metal. Evil fucking shit. Sounds gnarly. Like, both the demos are just really fucking good. Like, wow. Again, Patreon picks. Fuck yeah. So, uh, Duke Order War now, but this was shipped uh, from Hospital Records out in New York. Got here like three days, really fast. And I have stuff coming from Seattle, and yeah. Gotta thank Liz, gotta thank Pat, gotta thank the patron account. Seriously, everybody in there is a fucking, like, you, you mean a lot to me, honestly. Like, just. From watching the channel to supporting the channel, it's a big deal to me. But that's why you should listen to fucking death metal sometimes. And if you're gonna pick up some death metal, it better be top shelf shit, no boof. And that's what human waste is by suffocation. This is legit as pretty much as top shelf as it gets. I'd say these three records right here are three of the heaviest ever. Oh, fuck. Luckily, I did not let it fall. But I have carpet anyway, but still. But Human Waste, Effigy, I don't have Pierce from Within, I don't have Breathing the Spawn out. And despise the sun. Fuck yeah. 
but I will go over Despise the Sun because it's a little more technical. It's a lot less raw. It's like really fucking tight, honestly. It's kind of like, like this is a little more loose, but not really. Like they definitely practice their asses off before recording this. But on Despise the Sun, the production is like just ridiculous. It's just on fucking point. Fuck yeah. But we've been blasting Effigy of the Forgotten, Rotten Carnage, and Listenable Records, Roadrunner, whatever. But this is a great reissue if you can get your hands on it. Uh, I have green vinyl. I don't know what other colors it's on, but it sounds great. I don't know why I didn't put this on. I put the tape on, but yeah, I don't know if I showed it. Super sick. I'm very happy to add to the suffocation vinyl collection. Like, I'm good. I don't need, like, Soul to Deny or anything. I need to get the first Nile record, and then I know I have Diabolical Conquest pre-ordered. Thank, thank you. Which is Coven Distribution? I forgot. That's a gnarly one that I thought I was gonna miss. And thank you, Liz. Karma Moffat. Fuck yes. Some of you folks are gonna hate Karma Moffat. I'm just throwing that out there. But as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule.